the Iraqi army celebrates its return to eastern Mosul. The song is triumphant but carries a significance beyond its words of victory. I haven't heard music for three years. Since Daesh came here, we have been sad because everything is forbidden. Everything is haram. We're in Intisar, a district in the eastern suburbs of Mosul, recently liberated by the Iraqi army. Uh, there's still gunfire around us, but here the Iraqi army is distributing food to the local population, part of its effort to ensure that it has good relations uh, with the locals. What they're providing is an essential service. There are no NGOs here, and none of the usual amenities are functioning. And it also helps soften the army's image. We need food, water, electricity, and other things. We need medicine for people with permanent disorders, just like this one. For diabetes and blood pressure problems, we don't have any. Before they can get food from the soldiers, the people here have to stand in line to be body checked. The police are taking no chances. We are worried that ISIS fighters may sneak through. We are trying to keep everybody safe. Fear permeates the air. Everyone is afraid. This is a conflict that will leave deep scars for generations to come. These bodies of IS fighters had lain strewn on the ground for days. The women still wear their niqabs. Many are worried that ISIS will return. The men too. They brought fear to our hearts. God willing, they will not come back. But everything is possible. We're afraid. We're afraid at night. The main task for the army, of course, is to defeat ISIS in Mosul. But no less important is the battle for hearts and minds. How to convince a predominantly Sunni population that a predominantly Shia army means them no harm.